Thank you for joining me today. I'm in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1. I have uh, finished the book of, of Numbers and am moving on into Deuteronomy now. Deuteronomy is uh, literally the second law. That's what the, uh, the title means in the Latin where this was derived. And so what has happened here is that we are, a month, we are about a month before the 40 years of wandering in the wilderness are up. About a month before Moses himself is going to die. And, and in that particular month, Moses speaks to the people the words of, Jer of, of Deuteronomy here. And so in this first speech that he makes, and some, some scholars have divided it into about three different speeches. It's, it's tough to do that, but, uh, uh, but certainly they, the, the people were not going to be able to stand and listen to Moses uh, for uh, all 32, or excuse me, 36 chapters of, uh, uh, of this particular book. But, uh, so it was probably broken up into, into several different uh, settings that way. But here in the very first chapter, Moses starts by saying, look, the, the key event in all of our wanderings since the time that we were on Mount Sinai, or Mount Horeb as they called it, the key event was when we sent the spies into the land of Palestine. And, and it's interesting here in this particular passage that Moses attributes the idea of doing that to the people themselves. Notice what he says here in verse 22 of Deuteronomy 1. He says, Then all of you came near me and said, Let us send men before us that they may explore the land for us and bring us word again of the way by which we must go up and, uh, and the cities into which we shall come. And Moses says, the thing seemed good to me. And so I took 12 men and I did that. Well, if you go back to the book of Numbers in chapter 13, where this particular event is described for the first time, you'll recognize that it says that the Lord told Moses that. So which was it? Well, my suggestion to you to reconcile that, uh, that uh, tension excuse me, if you will, uh, my suggestion would be to recognize that the Lord simply confirmed the idea that the people brought to Moses. It seemed good to Moses to do that. It seemed good to the people to do that. The Lord agreed with that. We're made in the image of God. He oftentimes sees us as partners with him. That's why we pray, because we are partners with him. And he, he, he responds to our prayers. But I want you to notice also that here in this particular passage where the people come to Moses and they say, send spies in there, let's find out what we're getting into as we go up there. Um, that was probably um, an act that was, uh, was, was ill-advised. They could have entered into the land immediately, and they could have conquered the land, they could have turned uh, that place back to themselves, and this would have only been about 18 months or so after the incident with the Red Sea. When I, I always find it interesting when I'm reading Numbers 13 and 14 that Joshua and Caleb, who are the two that say, yes, we can do this. The other 10 said, no, they're too strong. Joshua and Caleb said, look, their defenses are down. They won't be able to stand against us. Now, what, he, what they were meaning by that is that if, if you're a military leader and your army, your, your, your main idea is to protect your homeland and your, uh, and, and, and your person. And that was what the Egyptians were doing. But their army was destroyed in the Red Sea when they tried to chase, come back, at, uh, get Israel to come back. And so what would naturally happen is that the soldiers that were on outlying uh, posts would naturally be drawn back to the homeland. And that was one of the places where these Egyptian soldiers were. 
they were in the area of Palestine, and so they would have been drawn back. And so Joshua and Caleb were exactly right that all of a sudden, 18 months after the Egyptian army was destroyed, they hadn't had time to replenish their fortresses there. And so Israel could have gone right in. But in this case, they listened to the 10 spies. And maybe if they hadn't had the idea of, uh, of sending those spies in to begin with, maybe they would have gone in and they would have spared themselves 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. It's all speculation. We don't know. But what I do know is that sometimes learning more about the situation rather than trusting that God's going to provide for us is not always the best policy. Father, we thank you for giving your commands to us. And we pray that you would help us to stand and to believe you. Lord, there are times when it is right and proper for us to get more knowledge before we go in. But there are other times when perhaps it would be better for us simply to believe your word and believe that you're going to provide for us. And so, Father, I, I, I just ask you to give us the wisdom that we need. We are partners with you as we have been made in your image. And we ask that you would speak and that you would guide and that you would direct. And may we follow you faithfully. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.